All right, thanks so much, Alan. Well, joining us from the Glass Sports Zoo, we have Alejandra here, and she also brought Dash the ferret. Yes. It's nice <laughs> to have a ferret around. We haven't had one in a long time. Yeah. All right, tell us all about Dash. Um, so Dash is a male about seven months old. He's still, he's still very young. <laughs> he's a little baby. And this is about as big as he's going to get, right? Yes. Um, he's not going to grow much longer. They grow to about maybe 20 inches long. <laughs> and I was looking at you hold him. Mm -hmm. Moves every which way. You don't yes. have to worry about it, right? <laughs> yeah, he it's, wiggles. Do they have hmm? like a vertebrae or something, or they? Oh don't? yeah, they're mammals, so they have all of that. They're just very wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> um, they like to dance. They do have a lot of a oh, they body like language. Dance, huh? they, okay. they, they wiggle a lot, so they sleep about 14 to 18 hours. But wow, when they're just like cats. <laughs> yeah. But when they're awake, they they are very active, um, and they t tend to be active at dawn and dusk, uh -huh. um, unless you kind of train them to <laughs> avoid that. But they right now he's pretty calm because he just woke up from a nap. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so he woke up for us. That's good. Yeah. That's good. All right. So this is as big as he's going to get. But you know, mm -hmm. lots of people have ferrets as pets yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. So he is a domesticated ferret, and um, they that's it. They've been domesticated. They aren't really out in the wild. They are related to um, some different types of ferrets, like a black-footed ferret, uh -huh. and um, they're related to the European polecat. Uh -huh. um, all right, so well, yep. Dash is very cute, and I know he's just <laughs> one of the many animals there in your education department, and yes. you guys have a big event happening uh, tomorrow, this Saturday. Yes, um, so we do have our Saturday safari, uh -huh. and it's who is on the menu. So you get to learn about um, food links, like food chains, um, and just kind of how the ecosystem holds together. All right, sounds good. So that's who is on the menu happening mm -hmm. tomorrow from 1 to 3 there for Saturday Safari. And then you have another event coming up as well. Yes. So we do have our annual Zoo Nights and Lights coming up at the beginning of December. And tickets are already available. Members do get their free tickets as well. So um, additionally, we will be having bands, choirs performing in al along with the, the beautiful lights. And it's a really nice way to see the zoo because mm -hmm. all the exhibits are just lit up. It's great yeah. for the entire family. <laughs> Yep. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And we are going to be right back.